Nate versus Chamayev, guys. What do you think? I mean, let me just throw it right back to you. I am very curious on what you think on that. Of all the fights that I was hearing for Nate, this one's the one I heard about the most time ago. I mean, we're talking November of last year. I can't even remember who came first versus Chamayev. It came up at a press conference, but it was either Nate or Nick, and I think it was Nick. How long ago was that that Nick fought Robbie Lawler, which means the conversation for it was it, you know, you know it's been a long time. And I will tell you, as we ponder this, as we kick this around, this was the least for me. Now, make no mistake, I want to see Nate fight. Make no mistake, I want to see Chamaya fight. Make, uh, these, these are stars. This is a great, I'm just sharing with you, Nate versus Connor part three, the trilogy that we all believed wholeheartedly we would get. And that even includes the organization. Thought, hey, look, we can offer that at any point. No matter where those guys are at in their career, everyone's going to want to come get a huge payday to be a main event in a massive fight. That's what this is. We're safe. We're protected. And I think we all thought that too. I did. I'll be disappointed when we don't get it. And then you talk about Nate. Uh, there was some talk of Tony Ferguson. I really liked that. I thought the Kevin Holland idea solved all the problems. I really did. When Kevin Holland called out Nate, I sat back and go, yeah, that's the fight right there. And then Nate went quiet real quick, and so did Kevin, which is generally clues for us. And I brought to you guys last week, hey, look, Nate's got a fight. Nate's in training camp. Nate backed me up on that the next day on Twitter. Sent out a picture of himself in the ring sparring. Went on aerial show, and then he kind of muddied the waters. Right, if Nate knew about this fight with Shemaev, the entire appearance on Ariel's show makes you scratch your head a little bit and go, okay, what were we doing there? Because Nate revealed to us, hey, they want me to fight Connor, but they want me to wait. I don't want to wait. They've offered me Shemaev multiple times. That's the only one I'm not interested in. What's Poirier doing? I mean, Nate, he, he seemed to package everything up very clearly, but I did think that there was a couple of messages that we could take away. And apparently I took the wrong ones. First off, he's not interested in Connor. Second, he's not going to fight Chamayev, which is news that we already had. And as it pertains to Chamayev, what happens from here? Like, I know on one hand, you're going to say this is a number one contender's fight. If Chamayev beats Nate, he's, he's all shined up. He goes right in there with Usman. I, I, I'm well aware that those things could happen. But you're going to have to make that argument, okay, at a time when the Blahal Mohammeds and the Gilbert Burnses of the world are booked, at a time when the Colby Covingtons and the Leon Edwards of the world are booked. I mean, don't forget that. You have no other welterweight fight right now. Soon you're going to hear about Wonder Boy versus fill in the blank. And you're going to have two or three really big name, really high-ranked welterweight fights that are also scheduled to go on. It's going to be hard to look at this one and go, that's our number one contender's fight. It's just going to be hard. Okay, let's say I've proven my point. It's not a number one contender's fight. Think about that from Chemayev's standpoint. Chemayev going back as far as a year, and it could be two, right? The pandemic really threw me off. I used to have a good sense for half a year ago, and year and a half ago. I used to have a real good sense for this, but I've been thrown off. But at some point, Chamaya was supposed to fight Leon in a number one contenders match. Don't forget that. That was a period of time ago. That fight was signed. It was booked. Chamaya versus Ch So a year or more ago, Chamaya was announced and signed for a fight that if he wins, he fights for championship. That did not happen. He then goes there and has this wonderful business with Burns. But that wasn't meant to be a number one contendership. That was meant to draw him in to a number one contender's fight opposite Colby Covington. So I'm just speaking from Chemayev's standpoint. Things have changed. Chemayev will do what he's asked to do. Chemayev wants to fight. That's the gimmick. That's the marketing. He's going to stick with it. I understand it, but let's be fair to him. He is a human being that's working very hard and has a goal. And a period of time ago, he was one win away on two separate times. The make-believe fight with he and Colby being one of them, him versus Leon, which was signed and booked. Each of those fights, he was one win away from being in a championship match. 
I don't know that this is going to be championship match when this fight's booked and you have the Blahals and the Gilberts and the Wonder Boys and the Covingtons of the world also, I think it's going to make it hard. Okay, fine. Fine. But where does he go from here? Right? Every fight is about that. Same will go for the winner. Same will go for the loser. And I'm looking at this from Chemayev's standpoint because if Nate wins, we understand. Nate's been very upfront with us to tell us I'm not coming back to the octagon. So it's just one of these spots where if I was to have made a prediction for you, what fight is it not going to be? I thought we've been pretty clear on this. I thought we've been pretty clear for a year. Not interested in Chemayev. Now, I'm not attempting to rain on this. Anytime Nate's going to fight, that's big news. I'm excited. I know that my body language isn't sounded right now. I am okay with it, but I, I got to understand it. We're going to Madison Square Garden. Everybody in the UFC is either champions or contenders. As soon as you prove you can no longer be a champion and you can no longer be a contender, you're no longer in the UFC. There's other places to do this, but that's what this is about. So if we're going to book a main event at Madison Square Garden, generally, Broad stroke, but it's going to be for something. And we can't call it a number one contenders match when one guy isn't coming. We know that going in. So what are we doing? Do these two have a personal beef? Well, I got some bad news there. No, they don't. Shemayev's never really gone at Nate. He said he wanted fights. He's thrown his name with other names. He's, he's never really picked on him. Nate's never really picked on Chamayo. Others say, look, you look pretty good, but you don't have a good enough ranking. Call me when you do. Okay. That's what everybody else said too. I'm just trying to make sense of this. I'm picturing myself on fight week. You know, you got the way in, you got the special media, we got the mecca, we got all of these things. Why are we here? I'm going to have to answer that. That's part of my job. I've got to tell you why we're here. Why does this matter? The five W's. Who, what, when, why, and where? Why are we doing this? Why are these two fighting? And I can accept anything, by the way. I don't need a good answer, a great answer, a salacious answer, a dirty answer. I don't need anything. I just need the answer. If this is all about promoter, this is the fight Dana wanted the end. If you're going to leave the organization... You're going to leave it fighting this. Okay, I'm in. That is actually a really good answer. I've seen Vince McMahon use that. I've seen that work in WWE. I've seen arenas fill up. But that's not the answer we've been given. That's not the answer we're ever going to be given. Is it a potential number one contender's fight for Chimaev? Because if it's not, it has now slowed Chimaev down. It doesn't speed him up. It doesn't ramp him up. This is a main event in the Mecca. It ha there's some Something's got to be on it. And right now, I'm still left with what? I don't know why they're fighting. They're fighting. I will watch them fight. Everybody seems to get what they want. This is the match the promoter wanted. Chemayev needs some shine. Nothing like getting it in the media capital of the world, New York City. Diaz needs a match so he can go. Everybody's getting what they want, which is generally what a good negotiation is about. Everybody's getting what they want but me. I don't know why we're fighting. <laughs> 